When going over these kite spots, it's important to remember that in some situations, some of these spots will be useless and some of them will be amazing. So you want to make sure that you use the height advantage spots against melee classes when you use low visibility and the line of sight versus like projectile or range classes. You want to use no ports versus like revenants and thieves and you want to use the transition spots which are just good generally versus a lot of things. Colosseum is a map with tons of terrain but a lot of it is pretty easy to see so there's not much for you to learn. I mean, if you see you can jump on like a box or something like that then yeah you can jump on the box yeah there's like an alternate path to the side nodes here it's kind of weird maybe not worth it all the time but it is there if you're getting spawn camped you can get out this way and go straight to the node so there's like boxes all over here and you just jump on these and over here you know the boxes pretty much tell you where the beginning of a kind of like a jump spot is and like wood piles over here this spot's pretty good but these are all kind of like off to the side by themselves so over here you have a little bit of a decent spot here you can jump from here to here and then you can get up that way and instead of people like chasing you all the way up you can take that little route over here you can jump on the boxes but usually people go left but you can actually go up here as well go right now over here, these are pretty self-explanatory as well, but if you see there's like these little like wooden things coming out, if you aim for those, you'll generally get the jump because if you don't aim for them, then you have less room to make mistakes on the distance. So yeah, look for these little wooden things hanging out and it's easy to land those jumps. And everything over here is pretty much the same, you just jump on this and it's all no port spots. There's boxes here. And let's head towards the mid node where you have this ledge, which you can use, which is pretty good. And it's good against melee classes. And this is all just open area here, so this is all very dangerous to be in. So you gotta use these pillars or gun straight for this little wood pile and get up here then up here or you can go from these wood piles to here and you can get up here as well by jumping to this and then jump up here so you don't have to go up as far as you can and then there but it's pretty much the same and from here it's even better you can jump to the little corner and then jump up and I think you can do it from the same yeah from the other corner yeah. either of the corners work if you jump into the middle I think it won't work and if you jump into the like the here yeah you won't be able to get up so you gotta jump into the very precise corner here and then jump up now over here you have an exit which you can port to and from but once you drop down you cannot get back up you can there's like a little bit of a pixel jump that you can do but it's it's really hard for you to do that reliably you can leap from the highest point of the slope here and get across the gap and that'll allow you to get into mid from one of the side nodes. So you can actually go over here. Now, most people expect you to just run down here and then leave and go towards a node or something, but you can juke a lot of people if you jump all the way over here. If you land over here, you'll get it and then you'll be able to go over here, which is super safe. But you have to land all the way over there because if you jump just like short of it, you'll get pushed away. So. You gotta jump really far for that one. And likewise, there's a ledge over here, which is easier to jump on to avoid melee. It's sort of close to mid node, so it's not a bad. When the buffs open, you can port to them from below. And if you're fighting someone up here, you can walk along these edges if you get as close as possible, and then you can walk out pretty far. And that can give you a height advantage. Fighting spot. On the mid node itself, you have these little poles and pillars just to line of sight and to no port on. You also have the exact same on this side. And over here, there's some like trees you can jump on. Not too, not too much you can do with that. But likewise, on this side, there is a little kite spot. It's a little bit more uh, elaborate. 
then the just ledge over there so you can jump on this hedge and then from there you jump onto this little gate and then you jump onto the hedge and then to the next hedge and then from there you can jump on this hedge and then you can head into mid again so you can kind of like kite people around mid now there's just LOS everywhere here so back here there's like a little like spot where it's very low visibility people can't see what you're doing back there this is a great pillar to get line of sight and height advantage on but you can only access it from this side of the planters so you can't jump onto it from the other side so if you jump up to it and then go to this side you're very safe from melee attacks and then you can also decide where you want your line of sight. There's quite a bit of terrain you can jump on here. You can go on this little planter and then up here and you can like basically jump up to this platform from below on this side. And there's boxes here as well. There's a little bit of a line of sight spot which has very low visibility. If you jump in from this side and then you can jump out you can't enter it from here you can only enter it from this side so you can hide in here it's really nice for avoiding like projectiles and stuff like that and over here there's actually a weird little thing if you look in here like there's something sticking out of the wall like some kind of asset is like clipping so you jump on that and then you jump to the gate and then to the hedge and then to this hedge and then from there you can go into mid so that's a very good spot all this stuff over here is pretty easy to understand. You don't really need anything to, to show how it works. Just get on top of it. And over here is an interesting one because you can actually jump to it from here. You don't need this box. So a lot of people go around and use the box, but you don't need to use the box. And yeah, that's pretty much Coliseum. Here is a very vivid but simple example of the difference between kiting and not kiting. So I am in a mirror match 1v1 and out of the corner of my screen you can see a thief is in stealth about to jump me and as soon as they do jump me I try to go to the kite spot over here but they're on top of me before I can even go on top of it so I port to the other kite spot and this is why it's important to know all the options because if your enemy knows where you're going then they're going to be on top of you before you even can get there and that'll basically prevent you from surviving but because I survived long enough my teammates arrive and now we're outnumbering them because the thief has left and the enemy weaver doesn't go for a kite spot and they therefore die so that's pretty much the difference between kiting and not kiting is dying and surviving but if you like this kind of video Give it a like and subscribe and check out the other map videos in the playlist linked in the description and I will see you guys next time.